We are going to do lesson 4-3, which is using our multiplication facts to find the answer in a division problem. So what we want to do is think about our fact family. So if we have 4 and 20, so let's say they say to us, you have 20 and you want to divide it by 4. What is 20 divided by 4? We have to think to ourselves, our biggest number in the division problem, the first one goes at the top. Then we have our two multiplication facts on the bottom. So we think to ourselves, 4 times what equals 20, which is 5, right? So we know that 20 divided by 4 equals 5. We can write two multiplication facts and two division facts with this fact family. Two multiplication, two division. We always write the number that's at the top of our mountain here is the product of our multiplication and the dividend of our division. It has to get set up by that, like that every time. Then we can do four times five equals 20, five times four equals 20, 20 divided by four equals five, and 20 divided by five equals four. So in doing this, this helps us when we get a problem that says, well, 20 divided by four equals what? We know that we can ask ourselves, what number times four equals 20? So what number times four equals 20? Because division really is just, these two can be multiplied together to get the first number in your division uh, problem, the dividend. So let's take a look at our worksheet. Okay, we can use our multiplication facts to find the quotient, which is the answer to our division. So we wanna find 48 divided by six. So draw your little pyramid over here. We put 48 at the top, we put six here. We wanna ask ourselves six times what is 48? So six times eight is 48. And so our division problem then is 48 divided by six equals eight. And then you need to be able to check Eight times six is 48. Okay, remember our little poem, six times eight, don't be late, leaving from gate, 48. Okay, an airplane has 35 um, passengers. If the airplane has seven rows of seats, how many seats are in each row? Okay, we know our bar diagram, our largest number is on top. So we can draw our little mountain here, 35, largest number goes on the top, seven is over here. Okay, we know we have to ask ourselves seven times what equals 35? We know that's a five. Okay, so there are a total of 35 passengers. We know that there are seven rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So each one of these is a row, and we can go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So, Seven times five equals 35. There are five seats in each row. So if they ask us, find 35 divided by seven, and they want us to write one of the multiplication equa equations that we can use for 35 divided by seven. Well, that's easy because we know with this pyramid here, we can do five times seven equals 35, seven times five equals 35, 35 divided by five equals seven, and 35 divided by seven equals five. So seven times five equals 35, therefore 35 divided by seven equals five. There are five seats in each row. Okay, Caleb is making a lemonade, making lemonade for a party. He needs six lemon slices to make a glass of lemonade. So each glass of lemonade has six lemon slices in it. He starts out the day with a total of 48 lemon slices. How many glasses of lemonade can he make? Well, we don't know how many glasses. We know that each one is going to have six in it. So we can just keep putting six in there until we get to 48. Or we can make our fact family triangle, our largest number 48 being on the top. Six is going to be one of the factors. We ask ourselves six times what equals 48? And we know that that's eight, okay? But we could always check here. Four of these sixes is 24.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We know six times four is 24. And that's also 24, okay? But with our fact family here, I'm gonna go to the next page so I have some space. Okay, two multiplication, two division. With this 48, it's our answer to our multiplication. And since it goes last in multiplication, it gets to go first for division. So life can be a little bit fair. It's last in multiplication, but it's first in division. Then we take these two numbers and they can be flip-flopped. Six times eight is 48. Eight times six is 48. 48 divided by six is eight. 48 divided by eight is six. When you have a fact family, those are the only three numbers that get to come to dinner, six, eight, and 48. If seven comes knocking on the door, they have to say, I'm sorry, you can't come to dinner right now. It's just a party of six, eight, and 48. Six, eight, 48, six, eight, 48, six, eight, 48, six, eight, 48. So use your multiplication to figure out your division. Good job.